You know, you know, Matt. You know that that we homeschool our kids, all right? My my wife and I we homeschool. Right. Uh, we we get money from the state through the Idea Program to help pay for the books that we use. However, we have to do an awful lot of stuff out of pocket because there are things that the state won't cover. All right, there are an awful lot of things that the state won't cover with homeschooling, especially if we as parents decide that we want our our kids to have any kind of religious flavor at all in our schooling. Then why don't you send them to private Catholic school or private Christian because I'm, school? Because I'm well, I'm not a Catholic, and I don't necessarily want them to have a, a private Christian education. I, we want to do the homeschool. The mm-hmm. issue is this: is that there's an awful lot of out-of-pocket costs that we have as homeschoolers that we would not have. If we just went ahead and said, okay, let's just go ahead and send them down the street to the public school. So this is what Dave is talking about, about the incentivization away from parental involvement. So do you believe that they should not have public schools? Did I say that? I, no, that's you didn't, but that's why I asked the question. What, what, no, so no, we're, no, we're going, away, we're going away from the from the moral point here. Yeah, exactly. Right? Okay. And, 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 and I want to and I want to throw a flag. Mm-hmm. Consider this a yellow flag or a warning mm-hmm. of some kind. If you if you push me, I'll pull out the red flag and we'll do a challenge on it. <laughs> uh, but the the issue here the is soccer game. No, no, no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, here's Those the, are cards. The, the question that you asked me gave me a false choice. Do you want do, uh, the, the question is what role do you see public schools playing in our society? Okay. That is the more adequate question that you should have asked. Okay, then what roles role do you see public schools playing? I see public schools playing the role of intentionally taking children away from their parents and indoctrinating them to whatever the political flavor that is in power wants. That's I, how public schools were founded in this country, and that's how they've been enforced over the years. Which is odd, because I attended public schools my entire life, even the University of Alaska, and never once did I have anyone indoctrinate me towards one belief system or another. My children, well, my son attends public school now, and... Well, let, let, and, wait, and wait and let's again, play that game. I don't, yeah, go ahead. I did, did, Lincoln, go ahead. did Lincoln end slavery? Uh, Answer the question. He's, he's testing, according to he's your testing, education, he's testing your level according of According to my education, right. according to my level, my public education, um, L- Lincoln used slavery as slavery was ending to begin with. Lincoln only um, accelerated it to make it a war issue to get uh, greater support for the war. So, did the South or the North emancipate their slaves first? Did you learn that in school? The South did. Right, but you probably didn't learn that one in school. Uh, I must have learned you prob- it right, you- somewhere. I mean, I can't speculate that I did or did not learn it in what was public the ma- school. What was the Emancipation Proclamation about? Um, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, see, okay. now I'm not smarter than a fifth grade. No, no, see, you've been mad no, 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 you are, like... Uh, that's that's the point is like there's no there's no feedback mechanism on public schools to determine if they're performing or not performing because they get they get stolen money that's taken by force but, uh, and they get children put in them because if parents don't send their kids to public school they get locked in a cage you have all these yellow school buses taking kids around to school the kids haven't committed a crime why are they being compulsed to go <laughs> it's the whole system rests on force Regardless of whether you think kids should be educated, and I think it's great that, that kids get an, a better education in the U.S. than around the world. The whole system rests on force. There's guns pointed at the people who pay for it. There's guns pointed at the people who are forced to send their child who's, to the school. Who's, who's pointing guns at me? Don't pay your property tax, Matt, what on happens? your business. What happens I challenge you, you to do that. Hey, uh, hey, you know, and any time this community has been offered with offered an alternative to get away from property taxes... They've turned it down. Right, because the question, they missed the moral question. The question is, how are we going to raise revenue instead? Not, should we take revenue by pointing guns at business owners, in the in the case of a sales tax, it's, 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 or pointing guns at property owners in the sake of... You're not pointing guns at... Yes, you are. At, at print, Resist. At, Resist the state. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Resist the parking ticket sufficiently, and they will come and take you and put you in jail. Drive, Resist that sufficiently, and they will shoot you. Driving's, a, driving's a, a privilege, not a right. If you don't want to pay a parking ticket, don't drive a car and park where you're not supposed to. It's, it's, as far as sales taxes, sales taxes are levied against the purchaser, not the business owner. But the the price <clears> gets put into the price of the good. The business owner becomes the tax collector for he, the state. He, the business owner right. is forced to become the tax collector, yes or no? Uh, th- if they, the business owner does not collect sales <clears throat> tax, they go to jail. 
I can see Matt. I, Correct. I, I can see Matt processing a lot of this, and 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 forgive us for teaming up on you a little bit here. We're, Doesn't we're bother doing me the, any. That's why I'm here. Thing. Uh, however, I, I mean, and kind of, and, and we do appreciate that very much. I, I think kind of to, to draw this back in as we're getting close to the bottom of the hour, we also have some phone calls, and I'd like to get to the phones here if we can. To draw this back in, there are certain assumptions about government that I think are not being challenged today by anybody except for those on the kind of that are considered fringe people like Ron Paul. Well, what I will agree with is the idea that the system, the way it is currently designed, has very few – there are no breaks on the system. There, there is no reverse on the system. The system is predominantly designed to crash and be rebuilt as opposed to being remodeled, if you will. Um, the re, any, any mechanism to remodel – prior to crash is, is very limited. And so the, that's what I think a lot of the issue, where the, a lot of the issues come in. And then same thing with public, I, I would disagree with you about the intent of public school. That may be what you feel the result of public schools are, is that it's them forcibly taking your children and putting a gun to you and driving them off like they're prisoners every day. I mean, but I don't believe that that is, A, the intent, or in my case and the ch- case of my children, I don't believe that that's the result. I mean, my son doesn't come home and, and say, man, I see the neighbors have a new snow machine. I learned in school that that's wrong because they have one and we don't. I mean, I, I just don't I don't buy into that. What about the voting public? Because that's how they're voting these days. Where did they learn that? Learn what? The, the redistributionism. Well, I mean, there there's a lot of aggravated people, and, and they have... They have. Uh, you want the schools to teach priorities? I mean, that's where no, that. No, but, but that's if where the that comes taught, in. If the schools taught actual economics instead of Marxism, the, well, uh, that, that would be an interesting start. Again, I went to I went to public school, and I I never I never was I don't believe that I was ever taught Marxism. I, I mean, guarantee I'm, I'm you, quite, you didn't learn about the Federal Reserve in public school because I went to private school and I didn't learn about that. I, I that's I, where I, that's where parental involvement comes in. Anything that you feel the public schools are lacking, they either need to be corrected at the parental level or or just purely taught at, at the parental level. But to, um, but to say that they're indoctrinating blanketly all of our children, I, no, I have a hard time yeah, swallowing you, you, that you, pill. You've said several times that you don't believe that you were indoctrinated in the, in, in the public schools. Uh, and I, 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 I think it wouldn't take very long to prove that you were, in fact, indoctrinated in the public schools because you went... Uh, and a lot of the the whole point of indoctrination is that you don't realize that you've been indoctrinated. That's so, what the whole point of it is. So is then, what, should I make the argument that 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 you're you're indoctrinating to the other side? Absolutely. Because, okay, Absolutely. So, so in one case, it's a it's a, it, it's a it's a benefit, and the other side, it's a detriment. And, and, and you know what? It is a it is exactly. It's either a benefit or a detriment, depending on your point of view. But to deny that it exists is either Ignorance or evil? Which are you, Matt? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm working on both today. <laughs> All right. I'm feeling frisky. 458 Talk is the number. I promise we will go to the phones right after the Fox News here at the bottom of the hour. You've got it on Patriots Lament on KFAR. This is the local talk radio, 660 on your AM dial. Man, Fairbanks is listening to Fox News on local talk radio, KFAR. Fox News Radio, I'm Lillian Wu. The Occupy Wall Street movement spreading beyond Wall Street to other major cities. In Washington, D.C., some protests aimed at ending the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan. Another issue demonstrators want to be heard on, frustration with the government. We believe that we're not being ruled by we the people. We're being ruled by moneyed interests, by corporations, by an oligarchy in this country. This is not a democracy. It's a plutocracy. That's one of the protest organizers in New York City, which has shelled out some $2 million so far in police overtime. And for Paul McCartney soon. It's going to be great day. Reports say the former Beatle is getting ready to tie the knot for the third time, marrying fiancé Nancy Chevelle in London on Sunday. 51-year-old American heiress and 69-year-old musician got engaged in May. Fox News. We report. You decide. 